Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to the Ad Show. So, before we get on with this show, I do just want to discuss something very briefly with you. So, many of you will be aware that we are going to be doing a 12-hour stream on the 21st of November for the 200th episode of Thursday Talks. Quite a milestone, I know, and how we got there, I really don't know. Uh, it seems like it was only episode 50 a few minutes ago to me and most probably to some of the regulars who were around back then. Um, yeah, it just seems the weeks have just flown by and we are very, very close to 200 at the moment of recording this. So, yeah, absolutely brilliant. And as I say, I've decided to do this 12-hour stream. Now, what's going to happen is hopefully, and I've not contacted everyone yet, yet but hopefully we're going to get quite a lot of guests on all resellers or pretty much all resellers anyway there might be one or two that aren't resellers but pretty much all resellers from the US the UK and hopefully even a couple from Australia as well so there will be a lot of familiar faces on that live stream now also I just wanted to mention that if you have any suggestions for people for guests that you want to see on this live stream any resellers that you love watching on YouTube and you would like to see on the live stream please do drop them down below i can add them to my list obviously we may be all already on there but i can add them to my list if i haven't got them on there and i can hopefully get in contact with them and we'll see if we can work something out uh, i'm gonna really try and get networking with as many people as i can to bring them on and to really make it an awesome experience and also during the live stream uh, we'll obviously talk about retailing quite a lot but also i just want to kind of get to know these people let's say there's some people on, on the live stream that I've not really spoke too much before it'd be really nice to, to chill with them just to chat and just to get to know them as well if you are a youtuber yourself I may be contacting you so obviously just bear that in mind and if you don't you know if you don't want to come on or you've got other commitments or anything like that I totally understand I totally get it obviously it is going to be on a Thursday because it is Thursday talks and many people might be working on a Thursday if let's say you're a part-time reseller or you just might have other commitments so if you can't come on don't worry about it totally understand um, and with that being said there's just one other thing I need to mention it is going to be a charity event which means obviously we're going to be accepting charitable donations on just giving so yesterday I set up two different charity pages I've done the target for £200 on each of them I don't know whether we're going to hit that or whether we're going to go over that massively. I'm really not sure. I didn't know what target to set. I didn't know what level of support we're going to get on this. Um, so I thought £200 for one of the charities and £200 for the other as target. So £400 total target is going to be okay I think we might be able to hit that with a little bit of luck um, so yeah I think that's about right now the main charity we're going to be doing it for is Mind which is a mental health charity for obvious reasons of course if you may be new to the channel you don't know but I've had mental health difficulties for over four years now so it's very close to my heart mental health and therefore obviously that's why it's the main charity but I didn't want to alienate everyone because I know not everyone has kind of been around people with mental health difficulties difficulties or even experience them themselves so I don't want to alienate people so I did set up another charity um, giving page which is Macmillan Cancer Support now I myself have had a couple of people within my life who have had cancer one who was kind of indirectly in my life uh, sort of through a friend and unfortunately he lost his battle with cancer and then my grandma as well who had breast cancer who fortunately won her battle with cancer so of course it, it does tie into me a little bit as well which is nice but also I didn't want to kind of alienate anyone who just didn't really want to donate to a mental health charity because they've simply not kind of experienced that within their life or within their personal journey so if you don't want to donate to the mind one you can go ahead and do donate to the Macmillan one or saying that you don't even need to donate at all all I ask is that if you want to join the stream at any point during those 12 hours from 8am to 8pm UK time on the 21st of November, then go for it and just experience the chat, enjoy the chat 
and uh, let's make it a really, really good time and a real, really, really good celebration of the milestone. But as I say, if you do want to donate, then please do feel free to go down below, check out the two pages that I've set up on Just Giving, and give whatever you can. It really doesn't matter whether it's a small amount or a large amount. Whatever you can is brilliant. Whatever you can give obviously goes towards topping up towards that total. Now, if it so goes that actually we get to that target, don't stop donating, you know, if, you, if you've got money to go donate, then please still donate it because we don't want to just kind of set the target and then achieve the target and let's say some people want to still donate. We don't want to just stop it at that. We want to raise as much money as we can for these charities. It's just that I've kind of set the target at a range where I think is achievable. I think we can do it. Um, but yeah, if we can do it with ease, which I don't know whether we can or not, but if we can do it with ease, then please don't stop donating. Keep donating and just we'll see what we can get. We'll shoot for the moon. And uh, what's the great saying? We'll shoot for the moon and even if we miss, we'll land a pop, uh, in the stars or something. Oh, I've, I've messed that up, haven't I? But you know what I mean. That's the saying. So uh, yeah, so uh, let, let's go for it. Let's see what we can achieve. Hopefully there'll be a lot of guests on and it will be an awesome time. Also, my mum has got the day off. I know a lot of people do like seeing my mum on the videos. So she will be popping in uh, on occasion during the 12 hours as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so with that being said, I'll leave it there and I'll let you get on with the video. So thank you very much to those of you who are considering donating. And yeah, I will see you in the rest of the video. See you very soon, guys. Run. Just run. Welcome to The Ad Show. Right, we're all in. Well, watch out, watch out, everything's <laughs> falling for God's sake. Sorry, I've just been in the makeup department. Are you going to clean that up? No, I'll do uh, that later. Right, okay. Oh my God, the exposure's terrible, wasn't it? Okay. That's a, that's a little bit better. It's still a bit crazy. Actually, you know what? That's actually better. We didn't <laughs> even need the light. Right, okay. Tom. Right. So we what are doing. doing we are doing. Uh, guess the price, or as Nick Kills has called it, we sell our prices right. So yeah, I'm just kind of stealing his segment a little bit. But price is right. We won't say anything was about that. Was that who's I don't know who it was. Possibly. Price was that Generation Game? No, no. Yeah, Price is right. Maybe you did both. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Right. Higher, so. higher, lower, lower. No, no. Right, so. People are going to get bored here. Right. So, uh, you know one I mean. sec. Let me scooch oh. to the side a bit and then you just come yeah. up a bit. Uh, I no, I can't put, no, I can't pull. <laughs> You'll never move that with one hand. Right, you can. Okay, right, right, right. Which way? No, not that way. The straight. That's it. No, straighter, straight. A bit more straight. All right. No, I'm in a bit this way, I'm in it, right, that's it, right, okay. Okay. So, basically, how this is going to work when we've got organised is I've got, I've printed off sheets of paper of listings on eBay. Now, these ones don't have the prices on. I've wrote a little description. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand one of these to my mum. She's going to have a look at the picture. She's going to read the little uh, title that I've wrote out here. And then she's going to have a think about it for a minute and then guess a price. And then I've got these, um, and now I can't really show these because if my mum sees them, she's obviously, the game's going to be over. Uh, but I've got these, which are the actual listing pages with the prices on, but obviously then I can reveal after each one. So what I've decided to do is basically give a leeway of around 10%. So for example, um, if you guess £100, okay. then you've got a 10% leeway. So if it's, a, if it's £90 or £110, I'll kind of give it, give it to you. Yes. Or should we do 5%? Is 5%, is 10% too general? It's up to you, your rules. So, right, after a little bit of thinking, I've actually decided we'll do the normal 10% or the, the first thought that I had of 10%, not 5%. Okay. Um, because you never know, if any of these items are higher value, it may be hard to kind of get the price bang on. So I think 10% leeway is, is fair, fair. So, yeah. right, so we'll get on with this. I will pass the first piece of paper to my mum. And uh, what I want you to do, basically, on all of these is read off the little description I've wrote. 
uh, for the people at home, and then obviously they can gauge what this item is. They can maybe have a little bit of a guess, and then obviously I'll uh, show you the price in a second. So there's the first item there. I'm going to just put these uh, down here. So if you just read that out there. Is that Denny's? Yeah, Denny's. Fisher Rare Mego. Tom Baker figure boxed 1976. So, yeah, just hold it up to the camera. No, wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, that's good there, yeah. So that's it, that's it there. Right, so 1976 is a long time ago. Uh, Tom Baker was really popular and I think he's very popular now. Yeah. Uh, it's in its box, but it looks like the box has been... It's it's sort of passable, a passable box, isn't it? Yeah, and um, think about the title as well. Really think about that title. So, uh, Dennis Fisher. There's one word in there that really makes you, or two words actually, that makes you think on this one. Well, it says rare, and it says Fisher, and I wonder if Fisher is Fisher Price originally. Right, so 1976 would have been when I was watching Tom Baker. Yeah. Uh, so I think that is worth... Um, I think that's over a hundred pounds. Okay. So I'm gonna go with hundred and fifty. So, are you right? Are you right? This is the moment. The moment of truth. So we're going on a, a ten percent margin, right? Okay. So that's fifteen pound either way. Yeah. So you can have hundred and thirty-five to a hundred and. 65. That does seem like quite a generous margin, actually. That's all right. Right, well, we'll do it. We might do it differently if we do it again. Yeah, I might be um, way out. No. No, with some. Yeah. I'll show you the price there. <laughs> so, it's £160 there, plus postage. Obviously, I'm not including the postage no, in the no. kind of leeway. It's just no. a normal standard price. But yeah, rare box, Dennis Fisher, aka Mego, Tom Baker figure from 1976, Doctor Who, um, £160, Great British Pounds, um, and yeah, there it is there. So Should yeah, I that is... That as a winning one then? Yeah, you keep that and then obviously... That's we're, a winning we're doing, one. We're doing 10 today, by the way, so yeah. we're going to do 10, and, uh, and then obviously whatever you get out of 10, you can add up at the end. And we could say... What do we win? Well, no, we've not got a prize, unfortunately. Oh, will but, you make me a cup of tea? Yeah. Well, maybe, what would you like? How many out of ten would you like? That Ooh, could be a target. Oh, a target. A... I want nine. No, a realistic target, because nine's like... That's... I mean, you could get nine, but that's quite high. Okay. Uh, I want six. <laughs> You want six, okay. okay You're then. gonna accept that. Uh, let me let me check here now. Right, okay. So next one here. All right, I'm allowed to look at these, aren't I? Okay, so Royal Dalton Disney Showcase Snow White figure ceramic. Okay, and then just hold it to the camera. Right, there you go. Right, so I would say Royal Dalton is quite um, a good make. You've yeah. got Disney involved in that. And you've got Snow White figure involved in that as yeah. well. And it's ceramic, so it's something that's keepable. It's not plastic. It's for the bed, you know, somebody's put in the bedroom display. Children's put in the bedroom display or in the living room. Adults would like it as much as children, yeah. possibly, if you're into Yeah, probably more, Dis more so adults, I yeah, would say. Yeah, Disney. Snow White was a, what, a 50s thing? I mean, this hasn't been made in the 50s. I'm not but sure. But that, Snow yeah, White was released. Later. It was one of the first films, wasn't it? So, I would say that this is... So, this is a modern version of that. Well, I'm not, not going to say completely whether no. it is or it isn't, but that's... Yeah, it doesn't give think. me a date, so how can I answer that one? Now, looking at the box, I don't know enough about the box. So I have it has got its box with it. That's another thing. Yeah, it's got a cer certificate, certificate of some kind with yeah. it. So that makes me think it's quite valuable. So what are you thinking? I'm thinking. Sorry, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that could be hundred and fifty pounds. Okay, hundred and fifty actually first. That's what you said. Hundred and fifty. Sticking with okay. it now. Okay, sold for. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so this one sold for thirty pound plus postage, which I was shocked at. That really, I think that's, I think that's too, too low. Too low. I, you know, really, this should be worth every bit of fifty quid. Every yeah. bit of fifty quid, but they're just not. It's, you know, it's a shame. What a shame. So it's a um, World Alton Disney Showcase Snow White Ferris one of them all ceramic sort of figure um, in its box with its certificate, thirty pound plus the postage on there so that is a loss on that one so what we'll do is we'll put the losses Looks over on here side. so next one here god damn oh, wait no that's wrong that's oh i'm taking from the wrong side of the pile that's what's happening right so read it up and then show it to the camera as normal ashes to ashes new sealed dvd box set complete series I that? thought Ashes, Ashes, as soon as I saw Ashes, I thought it, you were play, playing a cricket joke on me. Yeah, so I, there you go, that's all right. Right, so I don't know how many is in, a, in the box. Oh, it says Series 1, 2 and 3. Yeah, so it's complete, the complete, complete series, series. The complete series. Or oh, 3 series, complete 3 series. Um, well, I imagine that's quite popular because everybody liked it when it was on telly. Yeah. I'm going to go straight in with the price. Okay. I think 50 quid. Do all this oh, Bruce, ready? Ne Bruce never did all that. This is the dramatic effect oh, right, for the people at home, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Right, where are you dolly girls doing the dealing? They, you, oh, you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you won't be allowed to there say that There is assistance, there is assistance, right, yeah. on the show. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Dolly girl, dolly dealers, dolly whatever. <laughs> Not only have you got it bang on, <laughs> but it's free postage as well. So there's not even any postage on it. So you've got it bang, <laughs> bang on. So 50 quid free postage for that box set. 50 quid free post. And also I just realised this is good for people at home who are maybe new to Resign and don't know what to look out for. Yeah. Obviously, you know, these things are out there. They're out and about. You can find them. So this is interesting for that. Point of view as well, so that's both of those over there. Yeah, two that's wins. a win. So two wins out of three. That's good. Oh, taken for the wrong side of the pile again. So this one might be a little bit tougher. Maybe it won't because you do like clothing. So so a polo Ralph Lauren hunting jacket size XL. Yep. There you go. What colour was that when it was? You know, because it's a black and white uh, photo. Yeah, I'm obviously my printer's monotone. I think it was a dark green. Right. I think it was a dark green. I suppose a hunting jacket's going to be a dark yeah, green, yeah. isn't it? But I didn't want to assume. Uh, right then. Well, I think that well, I've had, uh, Polo, I've Ralph right Lauren for... are a good mate, but you can get fakes of those, can't you? Well, no, but this is genuine. You know it's that this is genuine. One, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Um, how do you know that it's genuine just as a side point? Well, because they said it on their listing, okay. you know. I mean, I don't know 100%, oh, but obviously no, they, I meant, they I wouldn't meant wish... what things on the jacket would have Oh, I, I don't, to. I don't no, know. You don't but know. they wouldn't have sold it. No. And it's a good seller. It's yeah. a, you know, they've got good photography, they're a take... business seller, all that yeah. sort of stuff. So they wouldn't risk their account selling something that wasn't genuine. And the price that they got as well, Yeah. Uh, you know, that kind of makes me feel it would be genuine. I've got all sorts of information out of you then. <laughs> oh, is that what you're trying to do? No, no, no. Oh my no, god, yeah, no, I'm, I'm too. No, I'm not very tight lipped, tell No, me. no, because you said the price they got for it makes me think. Oh, this no! Game. Oh my god, I'm terrible at this game. <laughs> right, okay, so I'm going to go high. Right, okay. I'm going to go. Um, are you, were you kidding? No, I was <laughs> just in flow. Don't Obviously, I'm right. bloody kidding. Okay. Uh, Right, I'm going to go 80 quid. 80 quid? I was going to okay. say higher, but I'm so going 80. That, on the Ralph Lauren, you're going 80 pounds. So, drum roll please, eh? <laughs> drum roll please. No, no, you don't have to do it. I'm going to oh. do it in the edit. Well, I might do it in the edit. Okay. Well. Um, so, there we are. Oh! How far right, so am I? Oh, that man, even, even with your 10%, you're not, oh, you're not there. Oh, I'm not a winner on that. Um, but, yeah. Polo, Ralph Lauren there, uh, what is it, a uh, Ralph Lauren vintage waxed, oh I didn't put waxed in there, waxed oh no, hunting jacket waxed. size XL. That would have made the difference Oh, may me. maybe, oh. maybe. 54 99 plus the postie, so unfortunately it is a loss on that one, so I probably would have, that one can go I over there. I probably would have um, gone, gone higher though, thinking waxed. 
watched as well. Possibly, yeah. maybe. Well, maybe I should have put that on there. No, I, did, I didn't copy right. the title no, directly. No, it's fine, it's fine. I would, would have gone home and it would have been further out. So, next. Now, I've actually had one of these, I believe. Oh. So, it might be a little bit easier for you. It might make it harder. Oh. We don't know. We don't, don't know. know. We don't, we don't, don't know. know. We don't know what price these got for it. In fact, I think this may... Well, I'm not going to say that, actually, because it might don't give too much away. No, it You're might away too, the game. Yeah. We know where the game is. Right, vintage copper brass banded banded coal log basket bucket bucket sorry bucket and then that's height height is twenty four point five centimeters. centimeters so yeah just hold it up to the camera just so that we can see that's it there you go that's fine so the banded is there are those rims around it there i'm not trying to get any information out of you but that's that's extra work is oh no they'd have to do that anyway wouldn't they unless yeah um right so i think that's quite valuable it looks very strong and that could good. be yeah, yeah good, that could good. be quite we haven't got an age on it or anything but i think that could be i saw a lot old. of copper and brass so you have a bit of a and in its own way it would be quite there. heavy wouldn't it anyway yeah um but I imagine that would be quite good for, you know, transporting liquids or holding stuff stuff in, like right? maybe not liquids, but okay. stuff. Right, well I'm gonna go. Let me think. Um ooh, uh, sixty quid. Sixty quid? Okay. He's saying sixty quid. <laughs> Half of that it went for. You can see there, uh, twenty nine ninety nine plus the postage. Uh, vintage copper and brass banded log coal bucket. Height twenty four centimeters. Diameter twenty six point five centimeters. Now the key there that I put down is the height. It's not very oh, tall. It's not very tall. You get bigger ones. Yeah. Now the bigger ones of these might go for more oh, than what yes. you were talking. So that's kind of a bit of a trick one on that yeah, one. Yeah, But I absolutely. did give you the height, you so did give you me knew the that. Height, but, so there we yeah, go. so that is a loss, unfortunately, that one. So I think we've got two to three now, two wins to three yeah, losses. Yeah, losses. So I think the 10% thing is about right. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I've gone too, been too mean with that. No, no. So, uh, right then, next one here, there you are. You may have seen this before, actually. 1989. Hero Quest board game, MB Games, 100% complete, unpainted... Unpainted content. Content. Then hold that up there. There you go, that's fine. I, I thought this might be a bit easier for you, but there's maybe things in there that might throw you So it's 1989, so it's 30 years ago, plus, 30 years ago, sorry. Um, yeah, 30 years, years ago. ago. <laughs> Um, Hero Quest board game, MB games, 100% complete. Well, 100% complete's really good. They're good, yeah. Hero Quest, I remember you having, when the... you used to get board games, you used to look for Hero yeah. Quest stuff. Um, and then there's another thing in there, there's another term in there. Unpainted that... contents, maybe. But maybe, maybe. So people painted the figures, did they, in the things? I don't know that much about it. I've not really had it that much, but I assume that's what must have been what we do. Yeah. But we must get paints in a different set or something. Or maybe we get in the same set, I'm not sure. Possibly we get them from a different set. But unpainted contents to me would make me think it was less valuable because you couldn't paint them all. Anyway. Well, whatever, whatever you think. I'm going to go 49.99. 49.99. Well, you've locked it in. I'm not taking any. I'm being a bit harsh with the price. I'm not taking. I will take first guesses i'm not taking second guesses or anything on the bike just saying that. so you ready yeah <sighs> oh! <laughs> so hero quest vintage 1989 board game there 139 uh, 139 pound plus the postage uh, and this is unpainted content unpainted contents are very desirable they're yeah. not less desirable as you said yeah. so yeah that made it well over 100 pound um, I think that's pretty much top end what yeah. these guys have got. Maybe you could get a bit more, but it's it is they've got a good price there. So yeah, uh, that's that one there. So unfortunately, that is going to be a loss. I've got to win every one now, haven't I? Basically, I think I think, we've, I think we've got about five left or something. Four or five four left. left. So. There we go. Next one, nice one, Miss. This is one you could get. Snow White, Seven Dwarfs plush toy bundle. Disney store. Disney store. Right. 
There you go. I haven't got a clue with this one because I can't tell. I think they're quite modern. Yeah, well, they there's a few things plush, in there that allow you to... say plush toys, it's Snow White, Toys Bundle, Disney Store. I'm so what I mean by go... that, just to clarify... Before you make any guesses, Disney Store means they're stamped with the Disney Store. store. They're from the Disney, Disney store. store. Just so you know, instead of you thinking that there's some cheap Chinese thing, that's from the Disney Store. Yeah. Well, to be honest, it might be originally made in China, but I don't know. So there's obviously seven dwarves. You know, for Disney, we might have you thought about that? Maybe Disney actually get... But they probably produce them in China, yeah, so they, they might do. still be cheap, but they are Disney Store, so yeah, people yeah. buy them, you know. Yeah. Right, well, I think I'll go for... Before I just have a think about it, have a think about it on this. 40 quid. Oh, you've locked it in, you've locked it in. You've locked it in. You know, I said it's I gave you... too much glee. Too I, much I glee. gave you. Too much glee. I know, I'm getting a lot of pleasure in you. <laughs> not, not doing me, don't I? <laughs> that sounded like your evil laugh then. No, I could, was... I could have done it much better. No, don't do the evil laugh. You don't like the evil. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh. So even when you're 10%, unfortunately not. So Snow White, Seven Dwarves, uh, soft, plush, 15 inch, Disney Store, exclusives. They're 59.99. I mean, it was a good guess at 40. Yeah. It was a good guess. It wasn't like you said 20 quid or anything. 59.99. Is that plus postage? Yeah, plus 6.50 postage there. So yeah, unfortunately, that is a loss for you. So that goes on that side. We're getting down on now. I think we've got three left. This is going to throw you, I think. I don't think... I've put a couple in here now that are going to be hard for you, I think. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Yeah. Um, to be honest, it would be a bit hard for me. Olympus <laughs> Trip, 35 camera and case. Well... One sec, there. Yeah, it's okay. Olympus is a good camera make, as far as I can tell, because I think we've had one in the past. I don't know how old this Olympus is. Well, it's vintage. Is. I should have put vintage on yeah. there really for I was just going to say, I think it's before. It's probably around the time that my mum and dad had cameras. Maybe just 80s between, or yeah, I would say 70s, 80s. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, possibly. Because right, of the metal yeah. and the, the little detail on the front and stuff. Yeah. Um, 70s, 80s. Right. Well, if it. it so. We're taking it that it's in good condition. It comes with its case. It's got its um, lens on I'm it. I'm just going to have to... Let me just double check because I don't want to... Uh, mislead me. Uh, well, this one was the only one out of all of them to sell on auction. So okay. I'll tell you that because that may make a difference in your mind. Okay. Uh, I d it doesn't say anything on the title about, about it being untested or anything like that, but no. it did sell on auction, so I need to well. clarify that. Uh, well, I haven't got a clue at all yeah, um, I thought it might throw you this one yeah I don't know because I don't know cameras um, I'm going to say 55 quid because I haven't got a clue and it, I think it, yeah. I think I do think yeah, it could be worth like 200 quid and I just don't know it's I know with cameras it's like for me it's the same I mean, I know yeah. a little bit but not much so uh, where is it now so Unfortunately, I'll put you out your misery, misery quick. 55, oh. I did say it sells an auction. Auctions yeah. normally lower prices right. that you get as well. Okay. Um, but I don't think, I don't know about buy it now prices on this. You might be able to get 50, but I don't think you can. I'm mean, yeah. thinking. That's a anyway, loss. So yeah, um, this is vintage Olympus Trip 35 camera and case. Uh, 30 quid on auction that one plus three pound postage so even with your uh, 10 percent you're not going to win that one unfortunately uh -huh. and then final couple here oh so here we are that's your that's your one there oh right so panasonic v vcr ntsc now, super drive super drive now that means that it's an american unit right uh the NTS no oh, the, the ntsc NTS. right so there you go so it's an American so, unit. So I have to think about this one. I'm going to say 55 quid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Blow me hell, no, you're not going to get him, you'd say so quick. <laughs> you can't just say that and straight away 55 quid, you know. I'm like, <laughs> have a think. You don't know, you're not, you've lost hope, that's what it is. You've oh, lost... no, 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 no,
no, it's not that. It's just right. Look, I'll be kind. I, I think I'll the be, UK ones. I'll be good. kind. Okay. Right, you're on the right lines when you say that. But I'll be kind. I'll let you have another guess. I'm not going to say anything more, but I'll let you have another guess. I thought you weren't going to let me have all the I guesses. I know, but I feel bad because that was really quick, and, and it was just too, it was just too quick. 50, 55 quid. Right, 55 quid, okay. There you go. Oh, right. For, 49.99 on that one. I know I was a little bit lenient on you that were, one. You were, I got one. I needed to be. So, this is the uh, Panasonic videotape player recorder, VCR NTSC Superdrive, uh, 49.99 plus postage. So, with the 10%. You're just in there. I'm going to just about let you in there. Even okay. though it's 49.99, we're at one penny, really. <laughs> means that you've still kind of lost that it's one. It's all right. <laughs> but anyway. Right, so this next one is a good one. Uh-oh. Is a good one. This will really, this will really test you. Okay. <laughs> this is a good one. Oh, wait, 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 did you see it? No, I didn't see it. Oh, I, I've, I've, I've picked the wrong one up, haven't I? I'm glad you didn't turn it over completely. Did you see it? No, it's on the picture. Well, yeah, I know, but the picture was right near the price. Oh, I didn't see the price. Right, okay, so. Right, Lego Ultimate Collector Series Millennium Falcon. Falcon. So, have I hold it up to the camera? Oh, right. There you go. That's it. So... Not much of a title on that, probably could have put a couple of more words in there to be honest for you, but Lego Ultimate Collector. Oh, this is brand new and sealed. I should have put that in there. Oh, brand new and brand sealed. Brand new and sealed. Should have put that in there. And so the Falcon comes with, um, what size would the Falcon be then? Would it be like that, that one, like that sort of size? No, it'd be about this big. Would it? Mm, big quite one. big one, yeah, yeah, quite big one. And it's got all the little figures and things, it's got everything it should have, it's brand yeah, new and, and sealed. Yeah, there's and a, there's, a, there's a phrase in there that is that it's something that collectors is highlight, highlighted. Ultimate collectors. Ultimate collectors. Right. So, I'm going to go... Because Lego can be quite expensive, can't mm -hmm. it? And mm -hmm. Star Wars. I'm going to say 350 quid. He's laughing again! <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing it's just again. funny, it's just funny. It's just funny. Why is it funny? It's going to go to yeah, the 29 When now. you see the price, you'll be like, blow me now. Is Woo. that £1,000? Pounds? <gasps> <laughs> well, there's actually one sold. For a lot more than this price, I'll tell you the Jesus. price once I show you. Yeah. But yeah, so this one. Seven hundred and forty nine pounds. Yeah. So I think this retailed at around this price, maybe six, seven hundred. I don't know whether it's it still might be in stock actually on Lego. I'm not sure. Probably might have gone out of stock by now. Gone out, gone into retirement. But yeah, seven hundred and forty nine ninety nine Lego Star Wars UC Millennium Falcon five seven five one nine two. Um, there, so that's the one. Seven hundred forty-nine ninety-nine. One of these has sold the highest one to ever sell sold on sell on eBay. Yeah. Two thousand one hundred. <laughs> Two thousand. Now I don't know what's going on there because that's yeah. crazy price for what it is. That's I, I don't crazy. Know, but... So oh, shall you talk? So just didn't... just have a look at how many you got. Did you get three or four or something? I got three. I got the um, Doctor Who box figure right. I got Ashes to Ashes. Ashes and I got the VHS right. But you gave me the VHS practically, didn't you? Oh, yeah, giving so me another two opportunity. out of ten. Oh, yeah, but well, yeah. considering you're not a reseller, okay. you know, if you did this for me, yeah. with uh, maybe you'd have to do it with really obscure items. Clothes or You know, something. really yeah. odd obscure items. But if you did it for me one time, then... Um, you know, it it would be, I suppose it would be easier for me, but still I think in one in one aspect if you got obscure items it would still be challenging, yeah. You know? Yeah. And considering you're not a reseller, you know, that that adds to it. That yeah. adds to it. So I don't know, how do you feel two out of ten? Not not great. Really? But, um I th I should I think I was way off on the Lego and I should have known that that would be seven hundred or eight hundred quid. Yeah, other than that, mm, don't know. Well, I think, I think, 
I think looking at that, 350 is a fair guess. It's only I knew it was worth that originally because it yeah, came out as a ridiculous time. But collectors would be more. Yeah, and the size of a box is big. That box yeah. actually in well, reality is about this yeah, big. Yeah, I was just going to say, there's, there's other little bits that I could think do it's the biggest with. Lego set to ever come out. It's uh, one right. of the top. It's definitely right. in the top three or that, something. Well, yeah, that sort of thing. I haven't got that information, have I? I'm not looking at it on screen no, or no, whatever. No, no, sorry, or... you can't really. No, so it makes that. it difficult. Yeah, that well, yeah, that was interesting. It worked pretty well. I thought that was quite good. Yeah. I thought it worked yeah. well. And uh, so what I might do is do it again for my grandparents or for my dad or something like that if people yeah. enjoyed it. Um, it's something different, it's interesting. People out there who maybe aren't familiar with some of these items will hopefully have picked up a little bit of knowledge on them, hopefully picked up a bit of knowledge on the value of the prices that you can get for some of these things. So that's interesting as well. Um, I suppose we'll leave it there. So Well, I was just going to say, can we have an overall scoreboard? For what? So t remember that I was 2 out of 10. For when oh, right, yeah, his. yeah, we can do that. And then we can kind of rank people. Yeah, yeah. we can do that. See, see, and ask your Auntie Wendy if she'll do it as well. Yeah, I can just do, uh, you know, so long as people want me to do it. Yeah, and then, yeah. Uh, you know, if, if they want me to do it, then I'll do it for as many people as I can, really. I'll get Danny involved as well, and Ryan or someone, if you want to, and then... Okay can just see who gets the most work. We could even, well, no, we couldn't do it with the same items because it would be boring for people at home, yeah, it wouldn't it? Yeah, um, So, yeah, we'll have to do different items. Yeah. But the only reason I was thinking, in an ideal world, we would do it with the same items because then it, it, there's no bias there. Oh. It's the same, you know, mm. we're giving people the same yeah, thing. I'll have something to say from about a, From that. a kind of experimental point yeah. of view. Um, but, no, we'll do it with different items so it keeps it fresh, obviously. Yeah. Um, and... We'll see who gets the most, you know, right, that'll be yeah. interesting. So, yeah, uh, we will say goodbye for this segment. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. There you go, you can say bye. Thank you, bye. Sorry I was rubbish. All right, so, yeah, see you next time, guys. Bye. Right, there you go. Sorted. Right. Sorted. Sorted. A couple of minutes of my life taken away again. <laughs> 32 minutes, not a couple of minutes. <laughs> right, then. Now, You're gonna have your. Oh, I have to make it. Oh, you don't. Well, I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna make one for myself anyway, I think. Right, you don't need to make me one. I'm gonna make one for myself. I oh, know, I'm just saying, don't make me one. Um, don't make. Why? Don't make, don't make you one. Why? I want to cut. I don't know what your tea's like. I'll no, I but, no but why don't you want me to make me you one? Because I'm not good at it. I don't know. I haven't got a clue what you're good at. Right, so we are back to do the next part. I've got a fair bit to show you, but not uh, not at all as much as last time. So, uh, yeah, we will uh, get on with this. I've got a few items up here, so I may as well just grab these. So, you remember in a vlog not so long ago, I very, very quickly scanned over these to show you. Uh, these are some Mallard model kits, or something, train model kits. And I paid a fiver. We were clearing them at a garden centre down from 20 quid. They do go for about, two, I think it was, yeah, basically, $19.99 on Amazon. So yeah, pick those up for a fiver and potentially I'm getting 20 quid back for each of those. As you can see there, I've got five of them. Uh, I found this in one of the boxes. It's actually, oh, I've actually got another free gift. Yeah, I've got it over there. I was going to say, I'm excited to show you um, a Lego free gift that's over there. So uh, I need to remember to share that. So I think this may have been a free gift one year. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, it's this uh, countdown calendar 40253. If you don't go for much, I think you go for about 11 quid on Amazon. But again, I think that can be pushed up. I think that come sort of early mid November because obviously this is a countdown calendar so it'll want to be sold really before December but come like early mid November I think this could go for around 15 I can't see it shooting up a uh, crazy price because it's not really that desirable a lot of these were produced as well so if it goes up, it might only go up to around 15 quid. But still, you know, if it was a free gift, I don't really care what the price is. You know, I'll just send it in as long as it's not like a really low price. Then I'll just take whatever money I get for it, really. So, yeah, that's that one there. Next, a couple of DVD box sets. I have actually got a few more DVD box sets, but the ones that I've kind of already shown in haul videos, and actually a couple of them, I showed them quite recently. In the other room also, um, among the stuff that I didn't share, was a few items that I picked up recently. The TDK. Uh, 
Bay tapes, the puzzles that I got. Well, not, there was actually one puzzle over here that I did get recently, but um, there was a spot the intro, there was a puzzle, there was, you know, a few different things like that as well, and there's a, a load of other things in there as well, but yeah, um, I decided not to share them because I'm just like repeating myself. I, I, literally, they'll have been in haul videos in the past, and the things that we've got up here that I've kind of gone through that were in whole videos in the past I've tried to be quite quick with because I don't want to just repeat myself from what a lot of you may have seen already but yeah this Ashes to Ashes £4 I think maybe showed this in a whole video in the past I'm not sure um, now I scanned it into Amazon seems to go for 44 quid. it's got a decent rank video DVD I think it is which is about 20,000 um, so yeah I don't know about 44 quid because you can get the complete series for around 50 I think Maybe not on Amazon, but definitely on eBay. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, for, uh, 44 quid for just Series 3 seems like quite a lot, but that's the price it's on there for, so I'm going to go for it, and if I need to come down, I need to come down. But yeah, from 4 quid, very, very happy with that one. And then I got this very recently, and I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to shove it in my quarter 4 pile. Um, so, did I, was that 2 quid? Yeah, it's 2 quid I paid for that. It looks like a 7, but it was 2 quid I paid for it. Um, cutting it... Uh, is this just one season of it or something? Oh yeah, the complete third season. Now this is on, it's 19,000 again, so a decent rank, and it's on for 52 quid Merchant Fulfilled. Now I know it sounds like a lot, and I know you guys who maybe not done Amazon before, I think that's absolutely ridiculous, you're not going to get 52 quid for you know a box set like that or anything. And it still does kind of, you know, I still query it a little bit, but I have sold DVD box sets, just one series of them, or even, you know, a couple of series in a box set for crazy money on Amazon. And I know a lot of other people out there will have done so as well. Um, so it isn't out of the realm of possibility to get 52 quid for this but i do think it is quite high for one season of it but it might be just one of those obscure titles i mean i've never watched this program or anything might be one of those obscure titles or possibly just a title that uh, people just absolutely love um, and there's a lack of um, supply of these DVD box sets and therefore a price goes up. So yeah, two quid for that. Even if I don't get 52 quid, there's still going to be a brilliant profit in it. The big taboo, I paid 250 for this. There's a little bit of marks and stuff on the box, so am I going to have to get that off? On on Amazon, it goes for 26.99. I think that's merchant fulfilled, so there's no FBA offers on there. Um, so I'll probably shoot, shoot for around 34.99. Possibly a little bit higher as they consider them coming to, to Christmas. But £2.50, I'll take that all day long for that big taboo. So I showed this on a haul video recently so I won't spend hardly any time on it. I paid three quid for it. It's going to go for 19 99 on Amazon. It's that Christmas puzzle I picked up. Now I picked up a few of these last year and I've just I've kind of just kept a few for this year. Um, and these are the DC Superheroes uh, Clash of Heroes set. Now this set wasn't doing very well really after retirement but then suddenly it started going up in price on Amazon. Um, now I didn't pay 12 99 That's just a retail sticker. I paid I paid a tenner, so not much less than that really, but I think I paid tenner. I think it was £10.86 actually per unit. Uh, I, I did get, originally I got about 5 or 10 of these, something like that. But yeah, these seem to go on Amazon for... I think it was 20, 29 99 or possibly 27 99 something in that kind of realm. So yeah, you know, I'm still happy with that. Decent little margin on those. And I thought, as I say, I'd just keep a couple of them just for a year to see how we did more longer term. I think last year... I was maybe getting about 20 to 25 for them, maybe 25, possibly 25, or maybe 22.99. It was in that range anyway, 20, 25 kind of thing. So, you know, maybe it's good that I've waited, obviously, but um, I'm going to get a little bit more from them. So, yeah, pretty happy with those. Just got a random poly bag here. It was in one of the boxes. It wasn't one of the ones that I picked up at the car boot not long ago. I know I got a load of Lego poly bags at the car boot. It wasn't one of them. Don't know how much I paid, possibly doesn't even owe me anything. I might be in profit on the, on the lot that it came in because it's probably come in like a poly bag job lot that I sniped off eBay at some point in the last couple of years. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I might send it in. It might not be worth sending in. It might only be four or five quid this on Amazon. So it's not worth sending in. I'll probably just clear it on eBay, I think. Just run an auction um, and just literally clear it. Or if I've got something to bundle it with, then I'll do that instead. But yeah, that's that one. Now, this is a nice item. Do you remember that Lego job? lot that I got off that lady basically I had three Lego job lots big big job lots um, I don't know how many kilograms probably 
I think maybe the biggest job that I got was about 20 kilograms of Lego, 15, 20 kilos. So, you know, fair amount. Or it might have even been about 25, actually, the biggest one. But it's something like that anyway. And basically, there was one of the job lots that had a load of sealed Lego with it. There was this set. There was the Jabba's sail barge, which I've actually just recently put on eBay. I've had it stored away for ages. It's kind of like a rainy day type thing. Um, and I thought, you know what? It's sat under the bed. I may as well just sell it. You know, sales haven't been particularly brilliant all year anyway, so I may as well just sell it. I don't know why I'm keeping it. But yeah, there was that one. There was a Darth Vader set. There was loads of different sets. There was a Minecraft set, all brand new sealed, as well as a load of loose Lego as well. And I paid like 250 quid for the job lot. The Jabba's sale barge is worth like 160. This one's worth about 50 to 60. And then all the loose Lego and everything. Turns out, anyway, I'm pretty much in profit on that job lot now. So basically, uh, with the Jabba's sale barge as well, I've still got that to sell and this one. Um, so basically, I'll just clear this on eBay for around 50 or 60 quid. Um, and that'll be that. I'm not sending it into Amazon. Not because I'm necessarily worried because it's a slightly bigger set and it might get damaged in transit or something like that. I'm not too bothered about that. If it was a really big set, I'd be a bit more bothered about it. But it's not too big to, to send up to Amazon. But it's just, it's got some shelf wear and stuff. And I end, up, I end up having to sell it like new or used very good on Amazon. And, uh, you know, you're then taking a hit on the price. So I'd rather just sell it on eBay. I'm going to do that. Maybe charge $59.99 plus my postage. But yeah, really, really cool on that. Love a little set. And it's brilliant to get Lego sets like this that are retired, brand new and sealed. And this one's quite an old set. I, mean, I don't know when it was done i wonder if it says on it anywhere 2013 this one so it's a quite an old set really um but yeah so that's that one there anyway right so i don't know exactly the price i paid for this one i got it off an ebay snipe something is coming into my mind around 12 quid plus uh like plus postage or something i bought it for on, on auction on ebay um now i have done research on most of this and I've not refreshed my memory, so I've done really, really well this morning to actually remember prices on pretty much all of this. But I think this was coming in at £25.67 or something like that, plus postage on Amazon. So that would be a merchant fulfilled, that wouldn't be FBA price. So I think FBA, I would probably charge around £34.99. So, you know, there's not going to be a huge profit in that. I've had it for a very long time, this set, actually. So, you know, I just send it in, get get whatever I get back for it. Chances are I'll make some decent profit. Chances are it might go for 30 or 34, um, or, you know, 35, 34, 99. Um, but, you know, I'm not. I'm really not bothered at the end of the day. I just want to get this off and get it gone, basically, because I've had it for quite a while. So, yeah, that's that one there. So, here is the free gift that I was excited to share with you. It's set 4293. Uh, I think, is it some sort of carousel, I think it's called? I'm not 100% sure. It's a limited edition one. It's always good if you can get the limited edition ones, the snow globe and all those kind of ones. But what was it? The, um... Oh, it's like that toy soldier as well. That was a limited edition one, I think. Um, but they give them out normally with a £60 spend, something like that, 50 or £60 spend. Um, the train was a limited edition one. The gingerbread house was a limited edition one. They always do pretty decent, and you're getting them for free. And let's say, right, this last year went up to 30 quid. It's 36 quid on Amazon now. But let's say this went up to 30 quid. If you buy 60 quid worth of Lego and you get this free gift, you've got half of the money back. I mean, yeah, okay, that's sales value. It's not net profit. But, you know, you'll still come out with like 20 quid profit or something from this set because it costs you nothing anyway after your fees and all the rest of it. So you've basically got like a third of your order back just from this one set. So it's brilliant when we do this. You can get like really good uh, amount of your money back, really. So... Um, yeah, I always try and pick these up. Uh, currently going for 36 quid on Amazon. Might go might go a touch higher towards Christmas. Might go 40 quid or something. I can't see it going much higher than that, really. 36 quid is quite a bit for this set. Now, I don't know whether I'll sell it on Amazon because it's a bit... I don't know. I mean, actually, it's not so bad. But, oh, it's that there. That's what I was thinking about. You can see there's a little bit of cushion on the box there. And it is very, very slightly concaved. So, I might just sell it on eBay. I don't know what I'd get on eBay. Maybe a bit less than Amazon. Maybe 25 or something like that. But I don't mind, it's cost me nothing. Uh, it's just a nice item, and actually, I'm, I'm getting excited now because I want to uh, start buying the Lego. Uh, I'm, I'm getting in that mood, I'm getting in that mood of wanting the Lego sales to start in December and get buying stuff and, and hunting around different places and get buying some more stuff again because getting all this stuff out is really getting me in the mood to to uh, invest for next year kind of thing. So, yeah, that'll be cool anyway, so... Um, 
I just whacked that on eBay or something. Now, we've got some speed champions. Basically, to finish on, actually, I've got a couple of LEGO City sets that haven't done very well for me, so I suppose I'll... Uh, show you them sort of at some point as well um but yeah these are lego speed champions uh this is the mercedes amg gt3 now this one here you can see it's just got a bit of wear on that box there so i might have a sell this like new on amazon just this one specifically the other one seem okay but uh this one i might sell like new the others i'll sell new or i'll just sell this one on ebay clear it on ebay or something now i thought i had done pretty poor with these in fact is there any more of these no there isn't any more of these i thought i'd done pretty poor on these because i bought them last year and they just didn't go up they didn't go up in price at all anyway i put them away in my storage obviously and i come to look at them this year and i think the amazon price was around 30 so it's not the most brilliant margin i paid retail for these which is 13 quid it's not the most brilliant margin but i'm happy that they've gone up and i'll get something out of them i'll get some money out of them i mean for an ra margin it's decent i mean you know if you're looking at it from a conventional car boot or charity shop margin it's not the best but from an ra margin it's okay uh, you know 13 quid into 30. so you know, I'm going to do that. I'm going to uh, send them up and get my money out and get a bit of profit out of them. Um, but it was a shame that they didn't really go up last year and didn't really kind of do anything. But yeah, still, you know, that's those anyway. These are, are the, as I say, Mercedes AMG GT3. So I've just got three of those there. So yeah, that's those. Now, these ones are cool. So do you remember last year I got about 15 of these or something like crazy number of these, 15 or 20 or something of them. Uh, they are set 75871, the Ford Mustang GT, and I raved about these for so long, I said to people, and, you know, I, I did say, I did say, I was like, oh, you know, these are good, these are good, you need to buy them. Anyway, I put these three, I just left three of them, basically, uh, to the side, I didn't send them in or anything, because I just thought, oh, well, you know, they might go up next year, or something might happen, I'm not sure. Anyway, these are currently at 50 quid, which is the same price we were at last year. Bear in mind we're in October, so potentially they could go up. I don't think they're going to go up much. I'd maybe they might just stay at 50 quid. Uh, but potentially, you know, come December, they might go up a little bit, might go up to 60 quid. Now, I think I paid retail for these. I don't think I... I might have got them for, like, 20% off, which would be around £10 something. Um, but I think I probably just paid retail for these. But, yeah, from even from 13 quid, potentially into 50 quid each on these. So, uh, that's £150 for the three of these. So, again, these are the older Speed Champions that I was mentioning in the previous haul video. I mean, what I'll do is I'll probably split these two videos up now. So, the previous uh, stuff that I was going through in this haul i mentioned there was some speed champions that essentially uh, hadn't gone up in price and they were the kind of the, the newer ones that had come in and they hadn't done very well well these were the older ones and these have been retired for a while and these did really really well these were the ones that i was talking about when i said um essentially uh you know you could buy any of them at retail any of them at the 13 quid and within six months or a year go up to 30 40 50 quid that's these ones you know so uh it's a shame that at the moment the speed champions are just going downhill a little bit in terms of lego investing i've not really been you know well up on my lego investing in the last six to 12 months i've not really touched much of it i bought lego here and there and stuff but i've not really been like really seriously in depth looking at the market like i used to so I'm actually excited to do this because I, it, it forces me to look at the market. It forces me to think, ah, right, well, I can see that speed champions are just going down a little bit. And I can see that possibly some, some of the Lego Harry Potter sets have done okay. There's others that are have been too much mass produced. The uh, little battle pack with Ar Aragorg's Leia or something or whatever it's called with Harry Potter and Ron, Ron Weasley. I think I was a bit too much mass producing. I don't think it's done brilliantly. Uh, there was another Lego Harry Potter set, maybe a twenty or thirty pound set. It didn't do particularly well. But there's other Harry Potter sets. As some of the Harry Potter brickhead sets have done pretty well. So there's certain things that I'm just picking up. I've not done much research on this. I've not, you know, really done in-depth research or anything. So it'll be interesting to really get into that and really uh, evaluate things. But it seems that you have to be a lot more selective. And um, there's only certain things that are starting to do well now. Um, there is one set actually in the Speed Champions that I'm looking at and. That I'm thinking 
I quite like the look of that, you know, quite, I, I can, I can see there's this one set that could do quite well, that could do quite well. I'm not saying it will do well, but it could do, it has the potential. So I am looking at that set as well, but I'm going to be very careful because going forward, I think the Speed Champions might just be dipping a little bit, as I say, um, and I might be looking at more of the branded stuff. Uh, rather, than, I mean, yeah, Lego Speed Champions is kind of branded with Ford and all the rest of it and, and other different, uh, I think, like Mercedes and stuff as well or some something else. But, yeah, I'm going to be looking at maybe other branded stuff as well. Other, not branded, sorry, licensed stuff in the Lego in the Lego realm. So, anyway, it's interesting. So, that's those there. And then I've got these Speed Champions. These were another set. Well, actually, first off, they didn't do particularly well. They didn't rise in price massively, as you may have seen me say on one of the Lego investing videos, uh, maybe last year at some point. Um, but these are the Chevrolet Corvette Z06 75870, uh, this set here. Now, um, again, I don't know whether I paid, I might have paid retail for these, 12 99 but I think I may have got these at a small discount, 20% off, possibly around a tenner that would be. Now, these are coming on Amazon, which is a crazy, these have gone up like crazy in the last year. So I'm really, really glad that, uh, yeah, these are all the same set on me, yeah. I'm really, really glad that I kept five of these behind. I wasn't really gonna sell them for the only the slight increase that we went up by. We went up to like 19.99 or maybe 24.99. I did, I think I sold a few at that, not many. But as you can see, I've got you know five here. And essentially, I'm glad I kept them because now on Amazon, believe it or not, it's incredible. I, I looked at it, I was like, bloody hell, these have gone up like crazy. 56.99 brand new and sealed. Now, I have to admit, a couple of these boxes aren't really worthy of going into Amazon. I don't know which ones it is. There's one of them in here anyway. Ah, there we go. It's this one here. You can see it's not really worthy of going into Amazon. But even on eBay, I've seen, I mean, there's a couple that have gone for low prices, as you always get with, you get a few anomalies where some things you tend to go really low for some weird reason. But generally, and fairly consistently, these have been going for around the £40, that £35 to £40. So, you know, a bit less than Amazon. But even so, a great margin on them, even on eBay. So, a couple of the ones with the dented boxes and stuff, I'll put them on eBay. I might charge a little bit less than the £40, quid, considering we've got dented boxes and stuff. Just, well, not dented boxes, they're just slightly... Well, that one's a bit dented, but, um, you know, they're not really, really bad. Not, like, really crushed or anything. But, uh, yeah, maybe sell them on eBay for that. And the other ones, the ones that I can get away with definitely knowing are new, um, I will obviously uh, send them up to Amazon um, and potentially get around 50 quid from them. So I'm really, really happy with that from potentially around 10 quid investment on each of those. So, yeah, that's that. Oh, is that a... No, no, there isn't. I thought there was a bit of card ripped off one of them boxes and something, but, yeah... That's those there, and then there's only some Lego City stuff to show you, so I'll just show you those now. So, I got these, and I, and it's it's a sad one to end on, really, because they're not really anything brilliant. Um, I should have kind of planned it so I was ending on the best stuff, but, uh, yeah, I'm just not that organised, am I? So, um, yeah, this is Lego City 60163, it's some sort of shark starter kit, kit like a... Lego City starter kit thing. Now these were in Asda ages ago, months and months and months and months and months ago. I had them for ages. And uh, ooh, what did I do with these? And they were, I think, fifty percent off. They were maybe retail like eight ninety nine. These starter sets, as you would imagine, because they're not the biggest sets in the world. And we were fifty percent off at four fifty. And I, for some reason, I picked them up. And I scanned them in ages ago to Amazon and we just didn't move and I thought, well, you know what, I'm just I'm just keeping them because I'm not selling them for a loss or anything like that. You know, I'm, I just, I'm happy just to keep them. So anyway, for about 13 quid on Amazon at the moment, so I'm still like um and arm. I mean, I'm thinking, really, I should just send them in for that or, or maybe not send them up to Amazon, but sell if If we're going for around the same on eBay, which they probably are, give or take a couple of quid. Just sell them on eBay. I know I'm not going to get you know half decent profit out of them. I'm going to get a couple of quid profit or whatever. Not a lot. But just sell them, get them out, and that's that. And write them off, basically. Just say, well, that was... You know, you knew, I knew it, the thing is, I knew at the time when I was buying, I thought, oh, it's Lego City, even at 50% off, I really shouldn't, but I did. And I knew at the time, but it, you know, it wasn't the best decision. I got four of them, so it's not the end of the world or anything. I didn't get, like, 20 of them or anything. Um, but, yeah, so, uh, I think that that's probably what I should do, and I'm going to avoid Lego City in the future. I mean, I, I'd... 
I have been tempted in the past to pick up a few bits of it, and I have done in the past pick up a few bits of it. But unless it's something really interesting, unless it's maybe the Lego Arctic stuff that has something really, really interesting, it has some sort of figure or animal piece that's really, really interesting, I'm just going to avoid it, even if it's 50%. I mean, if it's like 75% off, 70% off, I might then think, oh, well, it's worth it then. Because let's say these were 75% off, that would be, I'd be getting them for, what, £2.50 or something? You know, it'd be worth it, because they're now like 13 quid, so it'd be just about worth it with that 75% off or something. Um, but yeah... Still, uh, that's those anyway. Not the best thing to end on. Uh, as I say, I'll probably just clear them and get the money out and get a couple of quid profit on each set, and that will be that. But at least it's not a complete loss. And again, just like those uh, Lego Atlantis ones, uh, the, the oh, was it Aquaman Brickhead? That's the ones I'm on about. Um, I'm glad I just didn't sell them last year and just clear them for a loss because now, you know, at least I'm going to get some money out of them, just like the Lego uh, Aquaman ones. So. Yeah, can't really complain with that one. It's not too bad. At least I'll get some money out of them. Anyway, I will leave it there because this segment is coming up to 30 minutes. That means this haul, and we've not even done all of it. There's there's loads more in the room, but as I say, I'm going to leave it there because I've literally I've got to get on and process this stuff. I've spent, as I say, over... Well, actually, it's about two, two, two and a half hours, possibly even close to three hours, organising it all, all the rest of it, just for these hauls, let alone organising it into things for going on Amazon and then listing it and then putting things on eBay and organising it for eBay and all the rest of it. So, uh, yeah, I spent far too much time on it, really. But, yeah, interesting. I'm glad I could share as much as I could with you. Um, as I say, I will be buying... probably going to be buying more Lego this year. Probably won't show you at the time because, you know, if I show you at the time with discounts and stuff, people are just going to jump on it and then it, it just I'm just shooting myself in the foot, basically. But I might show you, you know, a few months later than that. That. Um, and obviously I'll, I'll give you a kind of overview of next year's haul. I don't know whether it's going to be as big. I don't know whether it's going to be smaller. I don't know whether um, I'm really going to be um, on Amazon loads, you know, next year. I wasn't really on Amazon loads this year. So, um, you know, if I'm... <sighs> If I'm not on Amazon really next year, then um, it might be smaller, this pile. If I'm really hitting Amazon hard next year, then it'll be bigger, this pile. I really don't know. But it really is dependent on Amazon because a lot of this stuff I buy for Amazon. So it really depends on what my business model is with regards to Amazon of whether I'm buying a lot of it and investing a lot in it. But I really, I do still enjoy the Lego investing. I've just not been doing it as much. And I really, and a lot of that is like cash flow. And so I don't want to put loads and loads of money into it and as you can probably tell it's expensive you know I've showed you a lot of stuff here and it is a big expense to invest in such a way um for q4 or for a couple of years out or whatever it may be so um you know it, it really de is dependent on that as well but um i do like it and i want to get back into it as much as i can and it'll be it'll be interesting going forward to see what happens next year with it but i'm gonna leave it there for this segment guys so thank you very much for joining me thank you very much for enduring this uh, obviously i'll split it over two episodes so uh, it might be a little bit easier for you but um yeah it was a pretty crazy haul uh, some things did well some things you know weren't brilliant i have to admit some of the margins aren't brilliant but as we come to december as i've mentioned and as i've looked on keeper with certain items i'm confident that things will pick up and will go up and then obviously i'm going to be able to get a bit more money out of them and a little bit better margin as i say it won't ramble anymore i'll leave it there and uh, yeah i will see you in the next segment so see you very soon guys